I now give the floor to Mr. Zahir Tanin. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished uh, members of the Council, you have before you the latest quarterly report of the Secretary General, and today I will share with you uh, my assessment of the situation as well as uh, an overview of UNMIC's recalibrated work priorities. When I last uh, briefed you in May, the situation uh, reflected a degree of uncertainty about the prospects for uh, decisive progress in the EU facilitated political dialogue. However, after leaders from Belgrade and Pristina met in June and July, prospects for uh, renewed negotiations began to be explored. At the European Forum, Albach and Austria in August, both sides advocated a new framework for a comprehensive agreement, including the possibility of territorial exchange. The addition of this new dimension generated new impetus, as well as apprehension among political actors and uh, populations on both uh, sides, as well as within the region and international community. Regardless of the underlying challenges and concerns, the discussion has opened space for debate and consideration. Last week in Brussels, uh, President Vucic and President Tachi met and confirmed their mutual intention to continue the dialogue and to work toward a settlement within the EU facilitated process. Mr. President, the political talks in Brussels took place against uh, a situation still dominated by frequent adversarial uh, actions on the ground, many of which carry real consequences for the populations. Actions uh, which attempt to preempt uh, agreement are not conducive to achieving political compromise. Whenever whether on larger or smaller issues, one-sided uh, actions carry the constant potential to influence the situation on the ground. I refer to a number of uh, broad areas, including infrastructure, energy, and the economy. Individuals continue to face challenges to exercising their basic rights, including the rights of freedom of movement, re religious practice, and equal access to economic opportunities. In a recent development, the announcement by the Kosovo government that a 10% uh, tax would uh, be imposed on Serbian and Bosnian uh, goods further increased tension uh, between Pristina and Belgrade and created instability for business and people. The government of Serbia denounced the measure as damaging to the normalization of relations and as a violation of uh, the Central European free trade agreement. I would like to underline that needed reform in Kosovo's rule of law institution has been undermined by ethnic tension and by political agendas. The resignation of a Kosovo special prosecutor over alleged uh, threat uh, connected to uh, investigation of uh, major cases led to a public protest and uh, harmed public confidence in the strength and impartiality of the justice system. Naturally, protecting the independence of the judiciary in fighting organized crime and corruption require continuous and uh, strenuous effort. In Kosovo, as uh, they do everywhere. The European Union and the United Nations continue to place resources at the disposal of the authorities to help in this difficult but essential endeavor. The wider context of uh, the political uh, dialogue process between the parties may uh, sometime be overshadowed by this area of unresolved problems, posturing and jousting. The European perspective itself continues to provide a significant source of motivation for political leaders on both sides and in so doing, helps promote continued peace and stability. 
Support and assistance from European Union is essential to strengthen capacity across Kosovo's public institutions. And the European Commission on 19th of July took a momentous step in affirming that benchmarks have been met for Kosovo's roadmap on visa liberalization, proposing to the European Parliament and European Council to lift visa requirements and allow visa-free travel for residents of Kosovo. Let me underline with all the focus on possibilities for a new political compromise, we should not fail to account for the forward movement accomplished since April 2013. And the central tenets of the first agreement uh, signed at that time, which uh, included establishing uh, the association uh, slash community of Serb majority municipalities. These tenets and uh, their full uh, implementation are crucial to progress uh, on the ground. Mr. President, uh, the recent approval by the Assembly of Kosovo of three draft laws on the Kosovo security forces that aim to significantly enhance the strength and responsibility of the force has caused renewed uh, tensions. This matter needs to be handled with utmost care to ensure that the steps taken are uh, the result of a fully inclusive, fully representative uh, political process respecting relevant legal frameworks. Mr. President, any uh, process of political negotiations, if it is to succeed, requires the full engagement and buy-in from societies, as well as from leaders and political representatives. Top-level uh, commitments that may be uh, reached where political negotiations, no matter the strength of uh, international and regional support, are unlikely to stand unless backed by a full understanding and confidence among uh, communities and individuals across society. I'm confident that leaders on both sides, as well as uh, the facilitators of the dialogue, have this firmly in mind. With this in mind, UNMIC continues to prioritize trust building in Kosovo particularly at the grassroots level. Whenever and however possible, in close cooperation with all international partners on the ground. I have set engagement, empowerment, and creativity as core objectives of our interaction and work with Kosovo society. As I have uh, previously highlighted to the Council, UNMIC has uh, realigned uh, its focus and uh, priorities toward uh, promoting longer-term uh, reconciliation at multiple levels in Kosovo. Without societal reconciliation involving people, communities, and civil society, progress can falter, regardless of the best efforts and work of political stakeholders. Trust building requires patience and uh, persistence to raise and empower the, voice of, the voices of understanding and compassion. That may help shape a future different from divisions and conflict. Following uh, the United Nations Kosovo Trust Building Forum held in Ljubljana in May, we have worked systematically to identify, support, and empower change makers across Kosovo and to facilitate the implementation of initiatives outlined by the participants in the forum. UNMIC, in uh, collaboration uh, with the UN uh, Kosovo team and other international partner, is focused on uh, realizing uh, the recommendations from the Trust Building Forum, which include a number of concrete measures for this year and beyond. The action plan encompasses a series of important measures, ranging from involving all segments of Kosovo society in, a, in an informed debate about the future to influencing the agendas of local and international partners in the areas of intercommunity trust and cooperation. Other key objectives of the mission's uh, ongoing work include promoting the use of innovative communication technology to support constant interaction of all groups and communities across Kosovo. 
addressing outstanding issues within the framework of justice, human rights, the women peace and security agenda, as well as the youth peace and security agenda. I would like to emphasize that UNMIX strategic frameworks on women and youth represent a bold step towards uh, supporting the empowerment of women and young people in Kosovo. These efforts are designed to encourage an environment conducive to, to peace and reconciliation, healing historical mistrust, and building bridges of common interest among communities. This is fully in line with the Secretary General's Action for Peacekeeping initiative and may offer an important example of how to tap into the potential of people and partnership to create necessary conditions for sustaining peace. Our international partners remain vital in this effort. During uh, the year, the mission reinforced its functional collaboration with EU office, ULIX, OEC, K4, Council of Europe, and other international presences, together with our core partners in the UN Kosovo team. Besides any regular uh, consultations in uh, Belgrade, uh, Pristina, and uh, regional capitals, I have made uh, particular efforts to share our perspective and experience with stakeholders in Europe and beyond. Mr. President, in each of uh, the areas of the mission's recalibrated work, as I have uh, uh, today described, UNMIC is working in line with the core principles of the Secretary General's reform agenda and guidance in the guidance of the Council. Our efforts are aimed at helping to boost uh, the conditions for peaceful negotiation and social uh, reconciliation. At uh, this uh, time, we are working to remain at the forefront of understanding, to help the Council, and to share our understanding in our work with all partners in the service of a lasting peace. I thank you, Mr. President, and the member of the Council for your continu uh, continuing support.